Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you Color OS 12.1 which has been released for the OnePlus 8 series devices. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So OnePlus recently released Color OS 12.1 based on Android 12 for the OnePlus 8 series devices. If I go into the about info section, you can see that the build number is C.26 for OnePlus 8T and C.21 for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro and the Android security patch is April 2022. Now let's run some benchmarks on this build. In Geekbench, the device scores 908 in single core and 3091 in multi core and honestly the device feels a lot smoother and snappier than before even though it has a lot of bloatware. If you want to remove the bloatware from ColorOS 12, watch the video in the i button. Now coming to the changelogs of this build, the first major changelog is Optimized AI Smoothening Engine 12.1 and as I have told you earlier, the device feels more responsive and fast. Animations have gotten better and they are very fluid. The whole UI feels smooth and complete unlike Oxygen OS 12. The haptic feedback has also been improved and you can feel that while swiping the brightness slider. Overall the system feels optimized and efficient. The next changelog is a portable card holder to organize and hold payment cards and receipts. So for this, if you go into the gallery app in the album section, you have this card album. Here you can hold your payment cards and receipts separated from all other photos. It is like a virtual wallet for your mobile. You can disable it by going into the album settings and turning off card case album. Moving on, the next changelog is regarding the floating windows. Now you can open floating windows from the split screen mode very easily. While in the split screen mode, you can drag and drop one app onto another to use them in floating windows. Also if you launch a floating window app from split screen, you can now open up to 3 apps at the same time as per changelog. But I was only able to open 2 apps at a given time. The next changelog is regarding clipboard privacy. So now if you go into the privacy setting, you can find this new option called clipboard privacy. Here you can select apps which have clipboard access and this could be really beneficial feature if you are concerned about privacy. And finally. We have the last feature which is Hyper Boost Gaming. With this optimization, you will now have GPA frame stabilization to find the best balance between performance and power consumption on your device. This will help you to achieve stable FPS in supported games. And you can see that the gaming dashboard has been revamped and it now looks more clean and compact. You can select between low power mode, balanced mode and gaming mode with just one click. You can also switch between networks with just one click and you have all the other features also. However, there is still no support for 90 FPS and BGMI. So those were all the changes from Color OS 12.1. Now to install this build, you need to do a local upgrade from Oxygen OS 11 and if you are on Oxygen OS 12, you need to downgrade to Oxygen OS 11. For that, refer to the video in the i button and after downgrading to Oxygen OS 11, local upgrade to Color OS 12.1. Comment down if you want a complete installation video from Oxygen OS 12 to Color OS 12.1. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.